everybody, and yes, vlogs are back, even though it feels, it's only been a year, it feels so long, and I'm so happy to be back with the camera, which is actually just my phone, but, uh, yeah, I'm excited, because this vlog, we're going to Disney World! I know you can tell by the title and thumbnail, but oh my gosh, this vacation has been by far one of the most anticipated vacations I've ever, like, experienced, uh, because it's like, it was announced we were going to Disney, like, oh my gosh, so long ago, like, back in, like, September or something, and just so many things have developed, and I, my, I myself have helped develop this vacation, and overall, it's just been such a ride, such a build-up to this moment, this day, where we're going to Disney World once again, and even though it's only been three years, it feels like it's been, like, ten but, oh my gosh, I am so excited to go back. And not we're not just going back to Disney. We're going to a deluxe hotel. We're going to Space 220, Typhoon Lagoon. All these amazing places. All in one vlog. I don't know how I'm going to be able to capture it all, guys. But, anyways. um, Yeah, I mean, like, I'm just unbelievably excited. So, without further ado, let's get in the car. Let's go to the airport. And let's go to Disney. See you, neighborhood. And now we're off to the airport. Let's do this. Okay, so basically we're exploiting the carry-on luggage system. And instead of bringing suitcases, we're bringing like massive hiking backpacks. So we're basically saving money and exploiting the system. Let's go. DFW Airport. Woo! Let's go. Oh shoot, I can't zoom out. Yeah! Let's go! Whoa, nice. Excitement for Austin here. Yeah, this is his favorite place, the airport. Yeah. Uh -oh. Let's go, we made it. Now that we're at the airport, let's hope these bags actually get us through security. Oh my gosh, this is real. This is actually happening. This ain't like a dream. I've been dreaming about this in September of last year, but it's actually happening! Let's go, we did it. These bags are fine. Now we can exploit the system, but um, anyway, let's move on from that. We're in the airport, and um, we're probably gonna get breakfast, and if we don't, we're just gonna hop on the plane. Um, like I said, normally in these vlogs, I don't really know the plan, um, so yeah, we'll just see how everything goes. By the way, one thing I forgot to mention about this vlog, I'm not going to really be filming the rides and stuff, because you can just look it up on Google. It's not really a point. But I'm going to film all of the in-betweens along the way, such as restaurants and, yeah. Because it just feels like, uh, not really worth it. Um, and I kind of want to enjoy the rides. So, that's the play. Um, and, well, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next clip, because there's never a plan. You know, it's time for <laughs> I know, you guys are all freaking out. We didn't go to McDonald's and get fries. That's because there's no McDonald's in this terminal. Please, please stop. Ah! Although, we did also go to chick fil so. Both were delicious. Let's go. Now to the plane. Whee! Hello, future Tristan. Just keep you transition continuity. Next shot. Hey, yo, fishies. Fishies, moment. Fishies. That's us, we're the 11 a.m. flight. We're going to Disney World. Yeah. Hey guys, guess where we are? It's the tube! Again! Yeah! We're flying a different airliner this time, so the plane is actually yellow. And also, we're about to head inside. To Florida we go. Let's do this. Okay guys, we're in our seat, um, and I got the window seat because I'm a vlogging gamer. Let's go! <laughs> we're moving. What is going on here? It looks like an average high school bathroom. Okay, so actually what's going on is that the cold air and the warm air and the like the very moist atmosphere are like mixing together and creating fog. So just to say, this isn't like sleep gas from the movies, okay? Where we're not gonna die, I think. Oh boy, here we go. Oh my gosh. Whoa. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a little bit fast. That's a little sudden. Oh boy. What is happening? I mean, I know what's happening. It's accelerating, but like, oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, and take off. Whoa. We're going to Disney World. Yes. Yeah. Dude, we just went inside the cloud. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. We're going inside the... What? That's so crazy! That is actually so cool. I think it's out of focus because of all the white, but still. That is awesome! Oh my god, I can't see the wing! I actually can't. Whoa! Oh my god! This is so cool! We just went through a cloud. This is surreal. I don't remember ever like going inside a cloud like that. Look at all these clouds. That's so cool. This looks like the sky levels in Mario. It's so cool. Even though it's definitely out of focus, that is awesome. This is absolutely beautiful. Goodness sake. Okay, now we wait two hours and 15 minutes, and then I'll see you on the ground. We're landing. We're landing. Hey, yo, we landed, boys. I'm not keeping that in. <laughs> or maybe I will. Future me will decide. And oh, you're keeping me suspended here. Come on, land, land, yeah! Oh, bounce, yeah! Let's go. Oh my gosh, this is such a Florida thing, having water in an airport. <laughs> it's such a Florida thing. Okay, now that we've landed, we're gonna hop off the plane, go in the airport, and just see what happens. Cut the shot now, please. Florida tube, let's go. Okay. Now we're in the airport and we're gonna go find an Uber to take us to the Boardwalk Inn Resort. I'm so excited we're actually here, oh my God. Here's our ride. Why is this airport so pretty? It's so unnecessary. Yes, we made it. Walt Disney World, the most magical place on earth. We made it. Yeah, we did it. Yes. Oh my gosh. Like my past self, months and months ago, through fighting through my freshman year, waiting for this very moment, and now it's here. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy! Guys, look, it's the Skyliner. Um, yeah, you can't really see it, but like, yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's a good shot. Yeah, that's the Skyliner, right above us. We're gonna be riding that this trip. That's for sure. We made it, that's it, that's the boardwalk in. Oh, there we go, there's the sign. That's it. Oh my yeah, god. <laughs> this is so surreal, oh my god. Oh, I, I love this so much. This is so surreal. Oh my gosh. I'm losing my voice, gonna say. Yo, this is so cool. This is the Boardwalk Resort. Oh, oh my god. This is actually the most surreal thing ever. Oh my goodness, I can't even tell you how much I've been looking forward to this. To the room! Pan, we open together on three. One, two. Wait. Bruh. Let me try my other one. 
Okay, we open the door on three. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Okay, come here. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> yo, this is cool. This is, oh my god. So Matt, this, these two don't work, but this one does. This is oh, so okay. cool. I can't get over so, this. We need to assign it. The, yeah, we need to do with that. Oh my goodness, okay. You got the TV, we're changing that. We're having two rooms also, right? Uh, Got a cool charging port here. That's pretty awesome. Uh, bathroom, bigger than expected. No. A big closet. Let's go. This is awesome. Legendary. Do this. Oh my gosh, this is it. This is the boardwalk. This is the place where I've walked in a green screen and vlog announcement. This is the place I've dreamed and imagined walking down for almost a year now. And now I'm walking down it. Um, I'm gonna get a little personal for a second. Um, I remember back in March or April, while I was walking to school one day, I was imagining myself walking down this boardwalk. I pictured it in my head, and I swore to my brain that I would never forget that moment. For the one time I'd actually be walking down, I, remember, I told myself to remember that moment. Remember when I was walking to school, and imagining walking down this boardwalk after well, passing my freshman year. And now I'm here. Really, really means a lot to me. Okay, so now we're gonna head to Epcot, which, by the way, is my favorite park of all time. So we're starting out with the best. Here we go, the magical moment. Oh, 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 moment, okay. to you the first attraction of the adventure, Ratatouille. Yo, this light is cool. Okay, it feels a little weird not filming the rides anymore, but I guess I give my review. That ride was amazing. I mean, like, it was my first time riding it. And I, like, I, get, I give an eight and a half out of 10. It's really, it's really good. I, the effects were really cool and like, the, immers the immersion is incredible. Overall, very solid ride. Ah. Guys, that on the horizon is my favorite ride, Test Track. This is the new Connections restaurant, and look, they actually have wireless phone chargers. That's awesome. Also, another thing. <laughs> ride number two, Mission Space. It's literally five minutes. Since I'm old enough, my family has agreed that sometimes we can just split up. So I'm riding this one by myself while everyone else rides Guardians because I'm a wuss. I remember back in 2019 when we went, this ride was closed. And I missed this ride, so looking forward to riding it again. Dude, this slide is literally a walk-on. That's crazy. So normally in this ride, you would have like a team, but I'm the only person. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm literally on a spaceship on my own. Guys, I, I, I don't think this is going to work out. <laughs> now I got that out of my system. When is this gonna start? Yeah, I don't need anybody else. I'm good. Uh, wait, wait. Now. What am I supposed to do? There's what? Ah! I have no clue how I just survived that. No clue. That was kind of sad, but also kind of funny. So, eh, it's all right. Um, as for the ride, 
Um, I don't know how to feel about the new Mission Earth thing since they like now the missions are different for green and orange and I don't like the orange one. Um, and now it's like it's just you go around Earth and for the most part it's kind of boring. So I don't know how to feel about that. Mm. Now I guess I'll hang out in the spaceport until like you know my family comes back. Ride number three. Test track, baby! That rhymed, and this is my favorite ride of all time. Cannot wait! Okay, so another thing we kind of did to exploit this ride, we went on single rider, and me and Paige just so happened to be together. Lucky! I am so hyped. See you after the ride. Yeah, um, that was amazing. He was just as good, if not better, than I remembered. Oh, easy. 10 out of 10. Favorite ride ever. Now, it did feel a little bit faster. Maybe it's because of like hard mode at nighttime or whatever, but like it felt a lot faster and I loved it. Although that did push me to its limits, I will say. To the next ride or the next park. No, I think it's still the next ride. Hey guys, look at the Epcot ball. They're, ce they're celebrating their 40th anniversary, so that's what they're doing. That's pretty cool. Ride number four, Spaceship Earth. All right, well, that was pretty good. It was so soothing that I legit almost fell asleep. Um, I wish I could film like parts of it because I like to do that, but it was so dark and I didn't really want to like disturb people with, oh my gosh, fireworks are going off. Either they're fireworks. Hey, yo, wait, hold on. Fireworks. Whoa, okay, you can't see them, but there are fireworks. Yo! Anyway, <laughs> thank you for rudely interrupting me. Oh my gosh! Well, guys, it's not day one is not over yet. As we're heading to Magic Kingdom, and since we're in a deluxe hotel, we get two extra hours so we can ride all the big rides. So, oh my, let's just get going. What the heck? Oh hey, they changed this area. Looks pretty cool. Okay, not gonna lie, this is really pretty. Bye Epcot, to Magic Kingdom we go. Hello Magic Kingdom. And hello all famous Magic Kingdom Castle. Woo, it's good to be back. Wow, I really love what they did for the 50th anniversary. That's super cool. Okay, on to the right. We have a good view because there's no way. We have the two bonus hours from Deluxe Hotels. So pretty much all the rides are walk-on. So let's do this. Ride number five, The Little Mermaid. I forgot how cool this line queue is. We're taking a stop at the ice cream parlor real quick. Mm, that's some good ice cream. And look, look where we're sitting. This is awesome. <laughs> Ride number six, Pirates of the Caribbean. This queue is nice. We always take the fast pass route, so I've never really seen this. It's pretty neat. Ooh, this is cool. Okay, that ride was pretty nice. It's pirates. It's always nice. <laughs> so um, now we're gonna head over to um, Intro Transition now. Um, yeah. Uh... Ride number seven, Haunted Mansion. Let's do this. All right, that ride was pretty good. A little spookier than I remember, probably because it's nighttime, but still. I'm sorry um, that most of these are just, uh, look, we're gonna ride this, and then it just cuts to me talking about the ride, but there's two reasons for this. One, 50% of the rides are too dark to film. If you watch the other videos, they're so dark, you can't even see what's going on. And also, reason number two is that I actually wanna enjoy the rides, and also, like, whenever I, Rewatch my vlogs. I always skip past the rides. I just don't deem them necessary. If you really want to watch me react to rides, you can watch my two previous vlogs about Disney World and Disneyland. Um, in fact, I just remade that vlog like a year ago. So, like, go nuts on that. It's an hour and a half. Have a blast. But the purpose of this vlog is to really go in detail on the in-betweens. Because I feel like, personally, that's what I would be more interested in. And, like... If you guys disagree, yeah, I mean, that sucks, but like, the other vlog exists, so, yeah. Sorry for that long explanation. Now to the next thing. Ride number eight. It's a small world. Oh my goodness, this queue is beautiful. I do not remember it looking this good. Really good ride. Like always, all Disney rides are great. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to give a rating for them. Um, okay, Pirates I'll give an 8. Haunted I'll give um, an 8.25. And this I'll give um, a 7. It was a little slow, but I love it. Um, I believe the message of the ride is more important now than it's ever been. <laughs> like the idea of uniting cultures and all whatnot. I feel like it's a message that really should be spread around the world. So, yeah, spread the message, guys. On to the next ride. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Rip, turns out we were going to ride Peter Pan, but it's still 35 minutes. Like, why do so many people want to ride that ride at 12.45 at night? So, anyways, now we're just going to head back to the hotel because we're tired. And our two hours are practically up, so... Yeah, I guess I'll see you back at the hotel. Okay, so it's like 2 a.m. We just made it back to our hotel room. I'm going to sleep. Thank goodness this is the latest we're ever going to stay up because I cannot handle being conscious for a song. In fact, I felt asleep on the bus on the way here. So, yeah, see you on day two. Good morning, everybody. This is day two of the trip. And as you can tell, I have new clothes because I took a bath. And um, unfortunately enough, uh, my family, they were going to go to the park at like 7 in the morning, Hollywood Studios. But um, I decided to not come because I needed that sleep since we stayed up till 2 a.m. last night. And even though I feel a bit of regret since they rode Rise of the Resistance without me, um, at the same time, it's like, I feel like I would have felt horrible if I didn't do that. So, yeah, I guess, right decision? I don't know. But now, we're going to head to Hollywood Studios and do all the, the fun stuff there. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be a crazy trip, people. Um, yeah, see you um, when something interesting happens. Gosh, this place is so cool. I'm going to explore more around here later. Absolutely. Okay, so we're, the boardwalk has this, like, boat transit system to get to Hollywood Studios at Epcot, and, I mean, it looks, looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. Hello, Hollywood Studios. I like this park a lot more than I did before because they actually added stuff. A lot of stuff. Here we go. Yep. Let's go. I do not remember this. That's pretty cool. Ride number not going to bother counting anymore. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Let's do this. If you didn't know, this is one of the newer rides they added to replace the great movie ride, so rest in peace. But let's see if this ride is better than the great movie ride. Because it might be, because it's based off the newer Mickey cartoons, which I always find pretty charming. So let's just see how this goes. That was a really good ride. Honestly, like, I kind of wish it didn't replace the Great Movie Ride, even though I like this more than the Great Movie Ride, because it's, like, trackless. Um, I kind of wish it didn't have to replace it, because I also love the Great Movie Ride. Uh, but anyways, um, one thing that did hurt as an animator, um, they interpolated, I'm pretty sure they interpolated it to 60 FPS, like with AI, which, uh, ew, not, does not look amazing, but... I'll give them the pass for that, okay? That was still a pretty good ride. Anyways, on to the next thing. Hey, let's go. We got the Mickey pretzel. I mean, technically, we got one on day one, but I forgot to vlog it, so here you go. Mickey pretzel. Woo! Next ride, Star Tours. This queue is awesome, like, like seriously. I know I say this every time, but that ride was pretty good. Um, we, did, we got a new route um, based off of the ninth movie since that came out after the last time we went here. So that was pretty cool. Now on to the next thing. Okay, so we just got back from Hollywood Studios and now we're going to rest for a bit and then later we'll explore the hotel, maybe swim in its pool. Let's just see. Okay, so we have a bit of time to kill between we went when we went back from Hollywood Studios and when we're going to go to the next park, which will probably be Hollywood Studios again. So we're just going to explore around the boardwalk and maybe ride the Skyliner and just see what we find. Let's go. Okay, so now we're me and Pan, we're just hanging out in Epcot together. 
and we're gonna go ride some rides, possibly even soaring. I'm not gonna document them all because it's like stuff like test drive, we've already ridden it, so I'm not gonna bother documenting it. But I guarantee something interesting will happen. Let's just see. Okay, one go I had this trip. I'm in test track right now and I'm gonna make the most optimal car. So let's see. Let's go for this one. We're gonna make the most optimal car. I'll show you the results. Okay, you see these numbers are all important. So what we gotta do is we gotta look at every single change we make and see which will add the most points. Doesn't matter to what, just we gotta add the most points. So like for example, let's see this changes stuff. So let's see, bottom left, we got 52, 50, 30, 65. And meanwhile, 52, 54. So we gained four, but we lost two. So we profited in two points. See, that's how we're gonna do it. So like, let's do this, bottom. It's 52, 54, 28, 65, and it's the same, okay. And this is the same too. All right, then let's just do the stylish look. There, yeah, let's do that. Oh wait, no, we can still have length. Okay, I'll show you the results, guys. May I present to you my vehicle. Yes, it looks ugly as crap, but I did the math and all of these items profit the most points. May not be balanced, but I think it might be the most optimal car. All we have to do is ride the ride and find out. I'll give you the results. Here comes the final test. Okay, so that was awesome as always, but now we have to beat this. Today's top design, 232. And surely mine should win, right? Because of optimal stuff or whatever. Well, let's see. 219? What? Wait, what, what was yours? What was yours? 200? I was only like six points? Uh, no. Wait, it was, wait, how, what? Seven. Seven points? Really? Bruh, okay. I'll be back and I will beat you. Just you wait. I was about to die. But anyways, now we're gonna hop on the Skyliner to head to Hollywood Studios. So let's get going. That is a nostalgic transition. 
guys were riding Skyliner and it's speeding up and I am a little scared now. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that is, oh, that is cool. This is awesome. Hey, yo, this is cool. I should stop saying hey, yo, that's kind of cringe. Hey, guys, look, it's Ratatouille. That's cool. Okay, see you at Hollywood Studios. That was super cool, and now we're in Hollywood Studios, and I'm actually gonna see Galaxy's Edge. This is the entrance to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I am very excited. Oh my gosh. Trees! Okay, not gonna lie, this place is actually pretty cool. I'm not really a fan of Star Wars, so I don't really understand it, but like, this is really cool. Okay, craziest thing just happened. While we were here at Galaxy's Edge, Rise of the Resistance, it was closed and it just reopened. So the line is like 15 minutes. And I'm actually gonna get to ride it now. Let's do this! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh this is literally a walk-on. How did we do this? Dang, the ride shut down five minutes before we got on it. And this back lot is cursed. Man. Whoa, this is cool. Wow, this is cool. Oh, wow, this is crazy. Jeez, what? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Hey, yo, what the Falcon doing? Okay, so now I guess we're riding the Millennium Falcon Smugglers Run thingy, whatever the frick. Whatever, let's do this. See, this queue, this queue is actually awesome. Go, we're on the ride. See you afterwards. Guys, it's the Millennium Falcon Tube. Yo, this is so cool. Okay, seriously, see you after the ride. What do you want in chess? Let's go. Okay, sorry, this ride is just too cool. Seriously, see you at the end. This is just so cool. Oh my god. What? Why do we give them a drop? so awesome it's so immersive and the fact that you can control it is amazing and now i'm never letting my brothers drive me ever again anyways now we're gonna head back to the hotel because the park closed 38 minutes ago so we're gonna probably take the skyliner head back to the boardwalk and i'll update you when something interesting happens this place is so awesome i seriously love it although i don't know if i like it more than pandora though we're, I'm just gonna have to see Pandora and then make a decision then. Still though, super cool. Oh god, this is a Toho moment. Oh god! Ah, yeah. Oh god! Okay, oh jeez. Ah, ah. No, I can't believe it. No. Oh god. No. Wow, the boardwalk looks pretty at night. Nice. Okay, first full day of Disney was pretty fun. Um, at Hollywood Studios, seeing all the new rides. That was pretty epic. We almost rode rides, but um, we got free fast passes or lightning lanes. <laughs> we got free lightning lanes from Rise. <laughs> so we got free light. <laughs> God damn. Room. <laughs> I'm doing this in a different room. I'm doing it in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, God. First light. Why is this? Why is it burning? I'm doing this later. <laughs> So we got a lightning lane at Rise, so now we're gonna ride it tomorrow for sure. So that's nice. But anyways, now I'm going to sleep. It's not insanely late like last time, thank God. So, uh, yeah, see you tomorrow. Good night, Wee. Dang it, I was supposed to flip over the camera. Okay, there we go. Good morning, today is day three of the vlog and 
if you were wondering where we are, we're actually in the amazing, like, back patio of our hotel room. It's pretty neat. But, um, anyways, today we're gonna head to Magic Kingdom, and that's all I know right now. We're probably gonna ride, uh, Rise of the Resistance, and, yeah, I mean, god, that voice crack was horrible. Jeez, that was, oof, that was not good. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna head to Magic Kingdom for the park opening, and I don't know what on earth I'm gonna ride. Let's just see. This time, we're taking bus transport. This is gonna be interesting. Because the last time, it took an hour for a bus to get here. No, it wasn't an hour late. It was like, we only had to wait like 10 minutes. Let's go. Jackpot, we got the back seat. Woo! Okay. Up. Right this way. Again? Okay, there we go. Then. Oh, uh, hey, let's go. Hey, yo, the castle do be looking good in the daytime. I hate that sentence so much. Wait a second, is that the collider from Fortnite? Is that tomorrow? Yo? Okay, that collider was a little spooky. But now, I'm gonna go ride Peter Pan by myself because everyone else is riding Space Mountain and I'm a wuss. Here we are. See you after the ride. Okay, I just got off Peter Pan and yeah, it was a pretty cool ride. It was wholesome, it was nice, but. I really do not understand why people wait so long to ride it. This is one of the biggest rides in the park. Yeah, I've, I've no re I don't know why people love it so much. I mean, it's nice, but like not like 60 minutes nice. I like Small World more, and it's like five minutes all the time. But, uh, whatever. Um, but now I have no clue what we're going to do. Let's just see what happens. Hey, let's go. We got the Joffrey's Mega Donut. Now we're riding Car Carousel Progress. Technically, it's not a ride, it's technically a show, but I'll see you afterwards. That was really cool. And <laughs> ironically enough, we got stuck at like the first section. I, I just love it. The dialogue is great, so peaceful and nice and good vibes all together. You probably can barely hear me right now. But uh, yeah, pretty awesome. Now we're gonna ride the people mover or blue car. So um, yeah, see you then. Also, by the way, the segment that shows like the future is scarily accurate. All right, see you after the ride. Guys, look, it's construction on the new Tron ride. That's so cool. It looks awesome. That was very nice and relaxing and seeing Tron from that view is pretty cool. I think we're going to ride one more ride and then we're going to go to Hollywood Studios again. Look, you see this amazing Tangled setup. They even built the, the tower for Tangled for a bathroom. Like Disney, I know. You have a lot of money, but come on. Now we're riding Haunted Mansion again so I can show you the amazing queue because last time it was walk on, but now it's 45 minutes. Here we go, look at this, this is awesome. Look at this, like by hitting it, plays the instrument. That's cool. Yeah, no. Oh jeez, that actually scared me. That actually spooked me. It's like spraying water. More instruments. The cat's also one. Cat. That was not what I was expecting. The books are usually super cool. Let's see if it still does it. I don't think so. Normally they like come out. Did I just get sprays? That one's moving. And it's 13. I don't think it does anything. Although it sprayed me with water. That's weird. Look, it's shooting out bubbles. Let's go. Told you, this is a cool cue. Okay, see you after the ride. 
Oh, oh. Let's go! We're at a cool restaurant. A restaurant where they bully you. Great. This looks cool. Rainbow cube. Yummy, yummy. Whee! Mm, this milkshake looks good. So does the focus on this camera. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is actually amazing. Still a lot better than Mel's driving though. <laughs> Somehow I just escaped that without getting bullied once. Let's go. And now we're gonna ride Rise of the Resistance. Yay! Oh yeah, free lightning lane. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Rise of the Resistance, here I come! See you after the ride. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. So much fun. Okay, I really need to stop filming so I can enjoy the ride. See you afterwards. I'm so hyped! Oh my gosh, dude. This is so sick. This is so cool. See you after the ride. Okay, that was absolutely incredible. I'm not even a fan of Star Wars, yet that was amazing. I honestly can't decide if that's my favorite. I honestly cannot decide if it's better than Test Track. Test Track has a special place in my heart, but oh my gosh, that ride, it's amazing. Um, I mean, I don't know what to say. Oh my goodness. Um, I have no clue what we're gonna do next, but oh my gosh, that was incredible. Oh man. Okay, so we're currently in the Skyliner heading to Epcot again. Me and Peyton, the classic duo of the Epcot adventures. This is basically gonna be a daily thing where we just head to Epcot in the middle of the day while everyone else is doing other stuff. So I'll, tell, I'll show you if anything interesting happens. We're probably just gonna ride the same rides except test track because it's raining. Okay. Oh. oh wait, why is it still recording? Hey, we're going here later. Stay tuned. Okay, now we're leaving Epcot and we're gonna head over to Hollywood Studios again. So yeah, I mean see you then. This is Oka's Pants Night. Oh my goodness, this looks awesome. So I legit accidentally ended up in Toy Story Land. <laughs> I was trying to get to the Chinese theater, but I ended up in Toy Story Land. Really? I will say, it looks pretty cool. Eh, I guess since I'm here, I guess I'm gonna ride Toy Story Mania since it's only 35 minutes. Let's do this. Wow, this queue is practically a walk-on. And it looks amazing, too. Wow, this queue, jeez, I love it. Okay, that was practically a walk-on, but anyways. Let's do this. See you after the ride. That was really fun. Just as good as I remembered. Lucky I got on like when it was nothing because it's usually the highest ride when it comes to wait times. Um, and I was only 200 points away from getting the best of my car or whatever. Freaking ah! Now I think we're gonna head back to the hotel because technically this park is closed. Hey yo, look at these people gaming on Sleeky Dog Dash. Hey yo, look at them. Whoa. Look at them go. Whoa. Look at them go. They must be vibing, dude. Howdy, folks. I'm Jesse. Okay, so now we're heading back from Hollywood Studios. I think you can see it behind me. And we're gonna head back to the boardwalk in, maybe get pizza. And yeah, see you there. Yeah, so we didn't get pizza, but sometimes it's good to not eat fries and pizza. We got nice yogurt, crackers, and Fritos. Yes, I know it's rare in Disney, because but why? but like, yeah, because the pizza, <laughs> and now we're long way. This is the second time I've been ripped off over pizza, but whatever, it's fine. <laughs> <No fries. laughs> Okay, in all seriousness, guys, uh, I guess this is the end of day three. Tomorrow is day four, and it's going to probably be the busiest day. We're going to... I'm not going to spoil it. You want? No, I'm not going to spoil it. 
cue the day four title card now. Insert throwing phone transition now. We. You know what? I'm gonna leave it on the ceiling this time. <laughs> Good morning. Today is day um, four, and it is 6.30 in the morning because Animal Kingdom, the park we're going to, opens at 7 o'clock. Um, so, yeah, I got my water shirt on because today is Typhoon Lagoon Day. And we're also going to ride a lot of water rides in Animal Kingdom, so I just felt it fits. So, now we're going to go head to the buses to head to Animal Kingdom. So, let's go! Good morning, Animal Kingdom. It's raining. Up, up. Yes. Okay. No issues. Let's go, Animal Kingdom. Yeah. That is the tree of life. Oh my gosh, it looks so majestic. Of course, we're gonna look at this at nighttime and probably watch the show because it looks incredible. But anyways, we're out of the Avatar Flyer Passage. Let's go. This is Pandora. Goodness sake, this looks incredible. I honestly can't decide if I like this more than Galaxy's Edge or not. You're gonna have to catch me a few days later to really decide. But goodness sake, it looks incredible. Goodness sake, this is so in depth and pretty. Goodness sake. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Jeez. All right, here we go. Fly to passage. Let's do this. Goodness sake, this is absolutely beautiful. Wow. Goodness sake, this queue is amazing. And you said it gets better on the inside? It does. Oh, jeez. Just like I'm me. Just like me. I'm excited. That's <laughs> Whoa, it's a cave with vines. Goodness sake, this is so cool. Goodness sake, they thought of every square inch of this cube. Like seriously, no matter where you stand, there's some theming or something cool to look at. Jeez, best cube ever. We're not even at the best part yet. Whoa, what's going on here? I'm interested. Oh no, it's the funny silly. What the heck is this creature? What? What? It's like the dark matter from Bowser's Fury, seriously. Or whatever that is. Sludgers. Hey yo, it's the funny man. Let's go. Here we are. This is the final room. It's all right. See you after the ride. That ride was incredible. Honestly, like every ride at Disney, like this is definitely my top three, but like every ride at Disney, you can say it's fun and great, but this one, this one is beautiful. Just the music, the vibe, the water, the scenery, the graphics, everything is just beautiful. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. <coughs> I'm keeping that in. Anyways, um, I don't know what we're doing next, but that was incredible. Okay, this place is definitely better than Galaxy's Edge. Tell me otherwise. Let's go, Navi River Journey. Let's do this. This queue is lame. See you after the ride. Okay, well, that was pretty good. A little underwhelming, but it was still very serene and pretty and nice. And it went by way too fast. Anyways, on to the next thing. Killaman Draw Safaris. Yay. I'm joking, by the way. It's actually pretty cool. See you after the ride. That was pretty fun. See all those animals I never thought I'd really see. That was pretty cool. There was like all the animals you can think of. Giraffes, cheetahs. It was awesome. Um, and now it's raining. Wonderful. But um, now we're going to um, probably go ride Collie River Rapids. So see you there. Collie River Rapids. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, guys. This queue is awesome. honestly kind of mid. See you after a ride. Okay, so we 
you just got off the Collie River Rapids and well, look at me. I'm soaked. I think I actually ended up getting it the worst out of our eight person, 10 person raft. Um, so yay, but if you're wondering why the camera kind of sucks right now, it's because I was stupid and left my phone in, the po in my pocket, which got the most wet out of the entire, my entire body. So, bruh moment. But anyways, I don't know what we're gonna do now. They're gonna ride some intense rides. I'll probably ride this again. And then I'll see you when something interesting happens. I'm not bringing my phone on this ride ever again. We're in the Restaurantosaurus Cafe and, well, you know what happens now. Okay, now that we finished with that, now that the rain has finally ended, um, we're gonna go head back to the boardwalk as the funny Fortnite event happens in a few hours. Ah! Okay, so we went back to the hotel, I got changed and stuff, and I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's inverted, but hi. Oh boy, the collider's looking pretty epic, not gonna lie. All right, here we go. We got into the game, let's do this. Ooh, where are we? This is kind of meta. Where are we? It is morbid time. We gotta go. Oh yeah, look, there's 39 minutes. Oh, we're on the moon base. Where's the? Where's? I'm gonna sound like a nerd. Where's reality zero? <laughs> okay. Wait, what happens if you go in here? Enter. Hey. What is this? What the heck? Oh, that's cool. Let's see if this is how we're gonna drive. Alright, see you when the event comes close. Alright guys, it's about two and a half minutes and this is my epic setup. Let's do this. I'm excited. Yeah, um, skip to this timestamp, by the way, if you want to skip this part. All right, without the wait, let's do this. By the way, if you hear, like, a voice coming from my phone, those are my friends, Spift and Gcat, who are joining me for this event. So if you hear voices, that's who they are. Also, if you hear my two brothers, that's because they're in this room, because I'm in the hotel room. So, yeah. If we don't stop it now, the will be Oh no. The will be the finest captain in all reality. Oh. Hey yo. It's the British man. One minute. Weapons team, listen up. Paradigm. Ground team, status. Ground team, stay by. Hey. It's the funny Troy Baker. Uh-huh. It is. Copy that. Stand by to engage launch sequence. Oh. See you in the collider. Should I see you in that collider? 20 seconds. So the event's already started. Okay. Oh, this is epic. Let's do this. This is so cool. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, here we go. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm so ready. Let's do this. I'm cracked. We've been to Animal King. We're going to Typhoon. Oh, there's Reality Zero. Yeah, that's cool. Oh. Destroy the funny rocks. Alright, let's do this. By the way, the gameplay being shown on screen is very likely not... Well, no, it isn't mine because I don't have a capture card. So I'll credit the person probably um, on text like right now. <laughs> really? I'm playing on Switch, it really isn't. Oh, there is! Uh-oh, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, guys? Oh, uh, this is already awesome. 
Whoa. Guys, we need Morbius in the game, absolutely. Oh my gosh, we're landing. Lag. Fair enough. Oh, here we go. We're entering. <laughs> it's fucking POP. POP, we're dropping and tilted. Oh, that is kind of awesome. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I don't have much time in the collider. Uh oh. They're doing the funny. Legend, I thought you were on the case. Yeah, 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 let me get in. Hold on, Susie, figure it out. Uh-oh. That's not very good. Destroy the funnies. Alright. Destroy the funnies. Oh, do we have to destroy the drills? <laughs> you, you, you are in it. You are in this. Stop. <laughs> Literally. I want to destroy the gas station. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's a bro moment. That's a bro moment. Oh no. It's the fortress. Rush! Rush! Let's do this. That is, that is actually just iron. Oh, let's go! Fortress is destroyed! I kinda called it. Let's go. Yeah, but we have bigger matters at hand. Also known as Funny Fortnite. <laughs> this is kind of... This is awesome. Oh, jeez. Guys, we're going to die. Dude, we got, okay, we gotta destroy those missiles. Honestly, yeah, we're not gonna die, it's Fortnite. Oh, the blimps! Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can't! This is not an impossible task. There's only three people. Oh. Oh. I don't think we're supposed to be able to do anything. <laughs> Life support. Imagine having this. Uh, oh, girl. Do you copy? We need more bees. More bees. Just a, a, a massive rift over to more bees. No way. More bees. More bees. Who's coming in? Oh, it's really! No way. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. It's the funny guy from the quest. We taught him to drive, but now he's did that. That's actually it. I play Geometry Dash. <laughs> P.O.P. You drink shield. Oh, my God. This is so great. This music is good. I sure is. There's Max. There's Max. How many tanks are there? Oh, I didn't hear it for a second. Yeah, they, they could be fun, but they can also be in the water, so I guess. I'm just shooting. I'm just kind of shooting. Oh, just shooting. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my goodness. Blaster game. Oh my goodness. Rocket blaster game. Oh, there goes Tilted. Destroy it. Destroy the funny. Destroy the funny. 
Destroy the party. No, this isn't it. This is something. Something's gonna stop us. I guarantee it. It's never this easy in Fortnite. Call it. I absolutely call it. And now you're gonna walk. Yeah, now we're gonna walk around. Well, we're dead. Can you hear me? Anybody hurt? Oh yeah, we're walking now. Oh jeez. But it's cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is this a new POI? Is this a new POI? Oh my goodness. This is cool. <laughs> Kill them. Guys, it's Fortnite. It doesn't matter what happens. Yeah, where is Morgan? Seriously, come on. You can really use this help. <laughs> Ow, lag. Hey, yo, it's Dwayne! Oh, that's not good. Unless you want to go wherever that is. No, no, I don't want to go to California. Please, no. I'm going there in July. I don't want to go right now. I'm in Florida. Oh my goodness. Just show the bed. Huh? This is awesome. Oh, let's go. That's not good. Whoa. Hey yo, Star Wars, Rise of the Resistance, possibly? Whoa. Come on, we need Morbius next. Morbius. Morbius. <laughs> they'll make them more billion they'll make more billions of dollars if they really start. Yes, yes. Where's Sloan? Oh, is that she's dead? Where is she? Whoa. Oh there's there's Sloan. Wait, Oh gosh. Or she. Uh oh. That's not good. Troy Baker, no! Oh, let's go. Is Slug dead? Is she dead? Is she, is she legit dead? <laughs> uh oh. Morbius, please. Oh, uh, that's, that's Gino. That's Gino. The Rock. Uh oh. Oh, we got to show these. These eggs. What? Uh oh, that's not good. Those things are gonna stab it. Wait, why don't we don't do anything? No, it's chill. Oh. Hey. Whoa, we no. <laughs> What about Morbius? Don't worry, I got you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh god, that's not good. To be continued in season three. Uh oh. Nope, there's more. The rock. Troy Baker. Oh my gosh, this is the epic crossover. The Rock and Troy Baker. Morbius. Come on, Morbius. Oh, awesome. Come on, where's Morbius? I'm disappointed. There's no Morbius. Oh my god. No more. Probably. Dang it, we need Morbius. I can't, I can't play Fortnite without Morbius. Oh, what is this? Yeah, Morbius. It's the Morbius update. Morbius shrooms. Are we gonna be in some stanky swamp? Stanky swamp. 
Oh, right, low five. No, please, God, no. This guy, I thought I over enthusiasm about the game until I met this guy. All right, goodbye. That was pretty good. Um, yeah, I don't know if I like him more than Skyfire, but that was pretty fun. Um, but I guess nothing much really happened other than the funny explosion thing of the fortress and the collider, which I predicted, by the way, would happen. Um, but yeah, now we're in lo-fi mode. Um, season 3 comes out tomorrow, I'll probably record about it, but that was pretty solid. I think I liked it, I think it was my second favorite. I like it slightly more than the, the device, which is my current second favorite. Um, I think I like it slightly more than that, but not more than Skyfire, so. Yeah. I uh, see you when something else happens, probably when we head out to Typhoon Lagoon. This was a fun little side segment. Um, yeah, now back to Disney. Okay, so now we're heading to the Typhoon Lagoon H2O Glow event, which is basically where there's after hours and it's super cool. Typhoon Lagoon, if you don't know, has a massive tsunami that comes through the wave pool every few minutes. That's the highlight. There's also a lazy river, cool rides, and it's just a cool place. So we're gonna go, um, yeah, we're gonna go and go to Typhoon Lagoon. Not scripted, I know. And I brought this amazing GoPro to help me film stuff, so let's begin. Typhoon Laguna's Magic Band Scanners. Yes, I actually have content. Let's go, 100% success rate, I think. Bro, I literally have to wear three wristbands. Here it is, here's the iconic wave pool of Typhoon Lagoon. On to GoPro mode. Let's go, my gosh! I'm scared. Oh, oh my gosh! We just got, we literally just walked in on craziness. Goodness sake. I, I, you know, I'm gonna be waiting for that next wave. Just you wait. Um, that's not good. Oh, I think I might run soon. Uh, oh, oh God. Uh, 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 oh my God. Dude. Oh my goodness. I'm going, I'm gonna run over here real quick. <laughs> oh God, nah, I ain't scared of you. I'm literally by the wall like a wuss. Ha! Ah, I beat you this time, you stupid little elevated piece of water. Uh, something's telling me this isn't gonna stop it. Wait! Oh! oh! So, we're pretty darn screwed. There's, oh God, there's actually no way to escape it. Uh, okay, time for that epic underwater footage that's in every vlog. Whee! Yeah, I love the GoPro. Oh, oh God, okay, I think I, I might be a little too far. Oh, that's a little scary. Oh God, Austin, you're gonna die. No, run! Yes! I'm gonna beat you, Wade! 
There's nothing you can do about it. Yes. Um, okay, uh, I, I think I might step a little too close. Oh, God! Ah! Oh, I'm still standing! I'm still standing! Okay, I hope this shot is on me. I can't really see it, but that was fun. This wave pool's awesome. But now we're gonna go ride some rides and maybe go in the lazy river. I'll just show you what happens. Goodness sake, this is amazing. So I was hungry and we got the Mickey pretzel. And look, it has neon like um, salt because the the whole event is like, it's everything is neon. So like these will like glow when it's darker. So that's cool. So in this nighttime event, they give out free popcorn and ice cream. So I got myself an ice cream sandwich. And if you're wondering why I got popcorn, well, yeah, it's sad because popcorn's one of my favorite food, but whatever. This is still gonna be nice. Nom. Guys, we're riding Miss Adventure Falls! Ah! Whoa! Ah! Okay, this is really not the most camera-friendly ride. Oh, but... by the way are you ready <sighs> yes okay I take that as a yes come at us Ray come at us second, second. Oh. oh gosh okay go have like these kind of seats. Uh, oh. Uh. Anyway, transition to water now. Ah! Why is there a big duck? Oh, hey, it's just you, Payne. Um, wait, what are you doing? And, oh god, no, but this cave is awesome! Oh my goodness! That was fun! I have no clue what we're gonna do next. Well, Payton, this is almost over. So we're gonna do one last wave. So you can um, 
you know, say goodbye to our loving water park. Okay, we're back at the hotel. It's 12.30. I'm going to sleep. See you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. And um, this is day, I think, day five. And <clears throat> today we're going to go head to Epcot, which is fun. And also, I'm going to wear my Magical Odyssey shirt to advertise my show. No, in seriousness. Um, we're going to go ride Ratatouille first. Spoilers. So, yeah, let's just get to it. I hate waking up at 6 in the morning. Oh, boy. Here we go. Come on this down, guys. is totally my magic band. Plot twist is paying. I'm sorry, on, guys. We're on Ratatouille and I have no clue why the roof is rainbow, but whatever, it's cool. Look at this, guys. This is the Japan section of the World Showcase. I've always loved like Japan and its culture, and I've always really wanted to go there. So I guess this fills that spot a little bit. It's pretty nice. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. It's like a little mini train area. That's awesome. Oh, look, this mini neighbor. How did I never see this? This is awesome. I really need to take a deeper look at this park, seriously. Hey yo, some animals are vibing back there. Oh jeez. Um, oh, oh no. Um, I don't feel safe. We went all the way to Norway to ride Frozen Ever After. I wanna see why so many people want to ride this ride. Cause I don't remember a thing about it. This is very well a cue. See you after the ride! Yay! Okay, I know like my standards have increased because it's like it's Disney World and like this is one of the longest rides in like all of Epcot and all that, but that was kind of mid. I don't know, it just felt like the plot wasn't going anywhere. It was like they were taking parts of the movie, shuffled it around, and just placed it on Maelstrom. Um, but it was still fun because all Disney rides are fun, basically. But the not gonna lie, it was high. Uh, yeah, but like yeah, it did feel like great. it did feel like they cut corners just to force an IP, which you don't love to see. Thank God Ratatouille was better though. <laughs> oh yeah, we're back, but we're riding it together this time with everybody. Yay! Okay. That is very loud. So we're actually getting it on standby this time, and I literally never see this queue because I always get in on single rider. Isn't that crazy? Like, this is actually really cool. Oh my goodness. It's been so long since I've been in this room. It's been like four years, five years, actually. Jeez. Okay, so earlier I made like the most optimal car, like statistically, but now we're going to do the prettiest car. So let's do this. You can use these. English. Yes. Um, let's go this one. This one looks the prettiest. Power responsiveness. Sure. That's kind of what I'm going to do. All right. Let's see. Oh, I like that. I like this. I'm sticking with this. Ooh. Looking good. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Let's make it long. I always like it long. Long and thin. Let's do solar drive. Or, what, what looks less ugly? Power. Plasma burner. Oh! It like, adds an extra thing. Get us a fuel cell. Like my said, we're not really going for optimalism. We're just going for... Why is it red? Um, fashion. So, 
Ooh. Let's, let's go with that. Great. Cube car. No. What do I got? No. no. I'm just gonna go simple. I'm gonna go with that. Wheels. Oh. No. I like that. You don't want that. You can edit the back wheels? Yeah. Maybe you can do that. Alright, well where's the one I like? There it is. Size. No. Let's go simple. Let's go there. Accessories. Uh, let's go front. Uh, ooh, I like that. No, 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 no. All right, let's go with that. Up here. No, 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 no. Ooh, sure. You gotta have something here. No. Ooh, I like that. I also like that. I'm going with that. No! It went up. Say here. No, no. That's cool. Um, I think my favorite is that. Go up there. Rear. Um, oh crap, we only have 25 seconds. Um, yeah. Ooh, I like that. Alright, tail. Um, let's do I like that. Alright. And there we go. Wonderful. So this is my vehicle. I like it. Um, the stats actually look pretty good. I uh, can't wait to see how this performs. See you after the ride. Let's look at the score of my car. Oh, uh, what do you know? It's garbage. Cause I didn't really try. That was fun. Now I think we're gonna go ride Soren real quick. Jeez. That's very loud. Anyways, I think we're gonna ride um, Sora now, so see you there. Let's go, we got another donut, but this time it was cookies and cream or Oreo, so. Nice. And now we're eating it in the land, which, oh my goodness, this place is pretty. And look, there's Sora. You know, the ride we're riding later. Now we're riding the seas with Nemo and friends. Yes, I know, I just said we're riding Sora, but. And we're like jumping around a lot, but like when you're in a family of eight people, basically, it's it can get shuffled around very easily. But yeah, we're riding this now. I'll see you after the ride unless there's something cool in the queue. Hey, yo, is that a dolphin? Just vibing. Oh, look at him go. Look at these fish down here. Oh, yeah, I forgot to review the ride. The ride was alright. It was a little bit. Underwhelming, I guess, but it was still really fun because every ride in Disney is fun. It's just, it's very similar to Haunted Mansion and Little Mermaid, but it doesn't really have that personality. So, yeah. Uh, kind of like Frozen Ever After. But, yeah, now we're going to look at more fish. This is such a fish moment. Fish moment. Whoa! Whoa! Look at those go! Sweet! Sweet! Hey yo, look at that chunker! He's a chunk! Then go! This is cool! See you after the ride! Guys, we're riding Sword again for the fourth time! Oh my goodness! We're back in the air, boys. Whee! Hey, yo! Let's go! That ride was great, as always. See me? It's just such a fun and adventurous personality. 
I bet you can tell that I am currently losing my voice because I screamed a lot last night. But, yeah, that was really good. On to the next thing, even though I don't know what it is. Guys, let me present to you the most intense, most crazy, most revolutionary Disney World ride of all time. Living with the land. Let's do this. Awesome. In all seriousness, that ride was actually pretty fun. Um, it's really relaxing. It's so interesting to see how agriculture works around here. Uh, the, seeing the greenhouse and all the plants and all the methods. It's actually interesting. Also, that greenhouse, I would say, was the lamest part. Because they showed a, a lot of other stuff that I just couldn't show because I don't want to show like a eight. Oh my goodness, my voice. I don't want to show like an eight minute ride. So now I have no clue what we're going to do next. I pretty much never know what we're going to do next. Let's just go with the flow. Hey yo, look at that turtle. He's vibing. Look at him. Okay, I think we're going to head back to the hotel now. Um, yeah, see you there. After that ridiculously long walk from Spaceship Earth all the way through Epcot and World Showcase, walking all the way from the skyline into the Boardwalk Hotel, and walking all the way to this room. We finally made it back. Um, and now, um, I think I'm gonna rest for a few hours, maybe let my voice come back, play the new Fortnite season, and stuff like that. Um, I don't think I'll be filming it though, rest in peace. Um, but yeah, I'll see you when something interesting happens. Okay, it's been a few hours since the last time you've seen me, and Nothing much really happened. We got back, I took a nap, and checked out the new season and stuff. Quick review, it's an obvious like filler season in the storyline, um, and it's still fun. And it's kind of ironic, they added like a roller coaster POI when we're at Disney World, but anyways, my voice is still gone, my back still hurts, but now, we're gonna go to Hollywood Studios to the Sci-Fi Diner Restaurant. So, I'll see you when something interesting happens between now and then, or if we just when we just get there. We'll see. Come on, let's keep it going. Yeah. Here we are. Let's get some nice food. Even though I'm an absolutely terrible eater. The reservation starts in 25 minutes, so while I'm waiting, I'm gonna go ride Star Tours real quick. I love having all this freedom. Let's go, I was the spy, epic gamer moment. Now to the actual restaurant we were planning to go to in the first place. <laughs> this place is actually so cool. Oh my goodness. Hey, let's go, look at our ride. We are vibing here. This milkshake actually looks so good. I'm gonna try it. Cut. Mm, yes, I can say that is very good. Okay, back to tradition. That was good. This restaurant was awesome. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I think me and Payne, the epic duo, we're gonna go ride Rise of the Resistance as it's only 55 minutes. I promise that is short. <laughs> All right, that was fun. I almost managed to work World Kylo Run, but now we're heading back to the hotel on the Skyliner and it just sped up. Okay. We're gonna head back to the hotel and I don't know if we're gonna do anything else for the rest of the night. So I guess I'll see you when we get back. Spooky lighting. Ooh. Okay, so we made it back to the hotel room. And now I'm going to sleep and probably going to play Fortnite instead of sleeping. So, see you tomorrow. Oh, oh God, no! <laughs> Jeez. No! Good night. Uh...
Good morning. Um, as you can see, I'm walking down the boardwalk, and I am heading to the Skyliner to um, to go to Hollywood Studios. Everyone else is walking, so I got up early so I can ride the Skyliner because that walk it changes a person. Also, my voice is still lost for some reason. I have no clue what is happening, but whatever. I'm just gonna have to live with it. Um, but it is definitely better than it was before. But now I'm gonna just go to the Skyliner and report if anything interesting happens. And honestly, it's kind of a shame since there's only two more days after this one. This trip is kind of going by fast and that makes me sad. But on the other hand, it's like, I'm gonna be going back to Disneyland later this summer. So it's like, it's not all over yet. So yeah, I'll see you when something interesting happens. Go, 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 go. Uh, okay, let's go. Oh, no. Okay, so Rise is already 120 minutes. So now we're gonna ride Smuggler's Run and I'm gonna pilot. Let's do this. Hey, let's go. We in the tube. See you after the ride. That was actually really cool. Piloting really does make it a different experience. And I actually hit a lot less things than I thought I would, so noise. Now I have no clue what we're gonna do next. We might just ride it again since it's still a short wait, but whatever it is we do, I will show it to you. So, yee. See you after we ride it again and something interesting happens. Hey yo, let's go. Funny ABC restaurant, let's go. I was God, this vlog is so weird. This was nice, nostalgic, but fun. Also, we got to make vlogs. Guys, we are about to do the greatest attraction in all of Disney World. And we're totally not here because every other ride is 50 minutes. We're here because I want to learn how to race. Hey, yo, this is so, uh, oh my God, this is so cool. <laughs> that was great. We're watching Lightyear now, or at least like a first 15 minutes of the movie. So, ye, I will tell you how it is afterwards. I, I don't know. Everything's like 15 minutes long or more. Okay, we just finished watching like the first 15 minutes or so of Lightyear. I'm gonna say it's bright, but that was really good. Makes a ton of references to like quotes from the past Toy Story movies. It's good. It's really good. Um, can't wait to watch it when it comes out. And yeah, I think now we're gonna head back to the boardwalk. Um, and yeah, my voice is still gone for a moment. So yeah, see you then. Okay, it's been a couple hours. It's raining, but like not. And um, now me and Payton, the classic duo, we're gonna go get some fries and ride a test track. Not even joking, I casually asked, hey, I'm gonna go get some fries and ride a test track. Do you wanna come with me? And it was awesome. So yeah, see you when something interesting happens. These fries took over 30 minutes to prepare, like to order and to be given to me. These better be the best freaking fries ever. Oh, by the way, we're in the Connections Cafe. They taste like fries. David spelled my name wrong. Okay, so me and Payne are about to write test track and we have developed a master operation <laughs> so basically we're really stupid so what we did is we put our fries <laughs> in this bag and we're gonna eat them while riding test track <laughs> we are very dumb i will show you the results here we are god imagine this actually works Hey, yo, look at my chunker. Look at the stats. This might actually be top tier. Let's go. Peyton, what is this? What, what have you created? Look, it's lagging it. Oh my gosh. It's actually lagging it. 
You made a vehicle so big that it lags it. Look. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, that is whole, Hey, nice. Hey. This is amazing. You did great. But did I do better? We'll see. Hey, yo. You got a, a nice snack. A nice snack. <laughs> yo. <laughs> see you after the ride. Oh, my God. Ah! Okay, I can definitely say that was the dumbest thing we have ever freaking done in our lives. We were laughing the entire time, like, the entire, like, I bet if we look at our photo, during the entire, like, outdoor super speed section, we were just eating frogs. Hold on, let me show you. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Yeah. That was hilarious. Now let's see our final scores. I bet I beat you. <laughs> okay, please, please, please. Oh yeah, you need it. Oh, 227. Is that the daily best? No way. No way. Is that the daily best? Hold on. Yeah. Come on, please. No! Yes! 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 Look at these ducks! Hi! Why are there so many ducks? Hi guys! We're in the Mexico section and oh my goodness! This looks amazing! Ooh, this looks cool! This is awesome! Oh my goodness! Okay, now we're gonna ride this! Nothing much to really say before the ride. See you afterwards. That was a ride. It had striking similarities to Small World, but honestly, I don't care. It's still fun. Um, now, the last ride I have to ride here that I haven't ridden yet, minus Cosmic Rewind, is Journey Through Imagination. So expect that to be our next destination. Here we are. I will see you after the ride, okay. unless we find anything noteworthy. That ride was quite fun. It's way more charming than I remember. It's just such a nice ride. That, that doesn't need to exist, but I'm glad it does exist. And also, this area is awesome, but I don't have the time to check it out because everyone wants to go to Magic Kingdom. So, don't worry, we'll be back. Trust me. Okay, on to Magic Kingdom. I have to film this every time now. Let's go. My family's going to ride Splash Mountain, so I'm gonna go explore around Main Street and see what I find. Um, yeah, I'll keep you posted. All right, here we are. If I were to bring a souvenir home, I'd be interested in this 50th anniversary section. Lucky for me, I do plan on bringing a souvenir home. So this is where I'm looking. This is cool. Look at that, that's crazy. I don't even know what he's doing. <laughs> it just looks cool. Fire cool. I swear, that looks exactly like the Collider. Like, I know that event already happened like a few days ago, but like, come on, you gotta admit it. That looks like the Collider. Let's go, People Mover was practically a walk-on, so now I'm riding it, yay. Also, my phone is on low battery, so I'm gonna try and film less. Okay, see ya. That is so seriously the collider. And no, I am not going to shut up about it. Also, a yo zero point moment. Wait, no, 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 please, I don't wanna go inside the collider. <gasps> Actually, I wanna look up, what does it look like? POV? Yo. I'm sorry, I don't know what this is. All right, we've had our fun in Magic Kingdom. Now back to Epcot since we have two bonus hours thanks to our deluxe hotel. Hey, yo, let's go.
monorail moment. I have zero clue why I filmed this. Hello, Epcot! Okay, so I feel like I haven't been getting enough Austin content, so I'm gonna film his reaction to the beginning of Soren. You ready? Yep. Oh. Tower. We are ready for takeoff. Austin. You can barely see. Whoa! Austin! I can't see. Again, 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 again. Dang, I was about to make it on Ratatouille, but then they cut off the path on Norway. So now I'm riding Frozen. Yeah. Okay, I'm heading back to the hotel. I'm insanely tired. Good night. But I'm not tight to the next day. I'm just going to the hotel. And also, since it closed off the route, I had to take the long way. Bro, moment. Okay, I forgot to say good night, so I guess. Good night. <laughs> good morning, everybody. This is day uh, seven, I think. Uh, I'm starting to lose count. Uh, this is our last full day here at Disney, which makes me really sad. And I think today we're going to do a completionist route and go to every single park. Uh, but some more than others, yes, yes. And not Hollywood Studios, definitely. That one's going to be the least because as much as I love that park, we've gone so many times because my entire family is full of Star Wars fans, except for me. So, like, yeah, we've gone a lot and I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. So, now... um we're gonna go to Magic Kingdom first. I'm gonna go refill a drink. Since, you know, we're still using the X-Boy. We probably saved like 500 bucks already. But um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead to Magic Kingdom. And yeah, I mean, I guess I'll see you there. Or if something interesting happens before that, which it probably won't, but still. <laughs> Never gets old. Look where we're riding first. I will show you my score after the ride. Oh gosh. Oh, oh god. That just does not look right. That just, that does not look right at all. Guys, why are we riding off brand two riders? Seriously. Watch the San Antonio vlog to get the reference. Bro, my gun barely worked. It was jammed. So I only got 1,500 points. That's a poor uh, moment. I did better in two Rider. And the guy wouldn't even shoot anything. That was fun even though my gun didn't really work. Um, but now we're going to go ride Big Thunder Mountain. That's right. I'm actually riding an intense-ish ride. Let's do this. Hey, yo, what's this? The Galactic Federation of... No, no, that's the Imagine Order. Don't lie, don't lie. Here we are. Let's do this. And I will see you up to the ride unless I find anything noteworthy before then. See ya. That was actually a lot less intense than I thought it was going to be. And really makes me think, am I, can I actually handle intense rides? I don't know, it's very bad here. I'm putting on my sunglasses. Uh, but yeah, that was a lot less bad than I thought it was. Um, but I'm still a wimp, so yeah. I don't know what we're doing next. See you whenever we're doing something next. God, I swear, I really need to get it better. Oh yeah, by the way, just to point it out, if you're questioning why the days keep getting shorter and shorter, it's because... Um, <coughs> I'm not really filming the rides I've already written once, so like, I'm not gonna review a ride twice. So like, that's kind of content being cut out of every day until it gets to the point where every ride we're riding is just a ride we've already written once. So, um, yeah. 
uh, I mentioned this because we are running pirates, but of course, doesn't really like, you know, I've already ridden it. So, yeah, I guess I'll just see you afterwards when we ride something or do something we haven't done yet. Yee. Yeah. For some reason, my family's gonna wait 45 minutes in this in this line. We're weird. That was fun, but absolutely not worth waiting 60 minutes to ride. Bruh moment. I don't know what we're gonna do next. So. Here we are, Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe. This is one of my favorite restaurants at Disney. This is very nostalgic and nice. So, yeah. I'll show you our table, I guess. Hey, let's go. Look at this. This is so cool. Let's go. He's vibing. Chalky milk. Hot brush free toast. Doesn't get better than this. Oh, wow. Look. Diabetes. Hey, look. It's the funny guys. Let's go. Let's. Oh, I think they can see me filming. I'm going to run. Whoop. I completely forgot to record for like the last four hours. So, um, yeah, so basically what happened in this span of time, nothing much. Um, since we're leaving, I don't know what that is. Um, since we're leaving tomorrow, I wanted to get one last long break in and then I want to go full force for the rest of the trip. So, um, what we did was, uh, we got back from Magic Kingdom at about noon, like 12.30 or so. Um, and then we just chilled in the hotel room all day. I ate a lot of food, <laughs> a lot of fries, um, at Cosmic Rays. So I was stuffed. I haven't eaten a thing. And there's two reasons. One, I'm full. Like, <laughs> not full anymore, obviously, but I was full. But, um, two, we're eating at Space 220. Yeah, that's right. God fucking here, sorry. Um, yeah. Um, if you didn't forget, um, I mentioned Space 220 at the start of the vlog. And I showed, like, the entrance that we were going there. And, yeah, that's actually happening now. So, yeah, that's where we're going. We're going to go head to Epcot real quick. And, yeah, that's about it. Haven't done anything in the hotel room except chill out. <laughs> Um, so now that I've got my rest, let's go back at Epcot and ride Test Track another 6,000 times. Okay, cool. Yes, who? This time I did it um, the most free car I could pull off. And I don't know, I think I did a good job. Although the stats absolutely suck. Yeah, you get the deal. Test Track, Test Track, Test Track, Test Track, Test Track, Test Track. I'll just see you when we get to the good stuff, which is Space 2. Two, zero, space 220. Here we are, this is it. Oh wait, wait, no, not Mission Space, that ride's garbage. Space 220! We're finally in that one section of Mission Space nobody knows what it goes to. Oh, this area, it's desolate. Oh, hey, Test Track. This area is desolate. Whoa, what is this? Look at this epic boarding pass, heck yeah.
needed. The person with the boarding pass is your leader, so make sure you follow your leader. Yeah, Yo, <laughs> this is so cool. What? I I love space. Oh my goodness! That is, oh, that is, this is so cool. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my goodness! Hey, there's the fam. I hate that I said that. Oh my goodness. This is very this is, cool. Oh my goodness. So see, this is actually awesome. Look, there's Earth vibing. Let's go. This is cool. Now the question is, do they have fries? My brother got a drink with pop rocks. What the heck is this place? That was really good. Thank you for letting me have a sip. It's like Powerade, but if you sh shoved a ton of fruity flavor and a ton of sugar in it, which is pretty good. Now on to the main meal. Oh, there's the Disney fries. Oh, these are good. And yes, I know it's very sad. We went to a luxury restaurant and I'm eating only fries. But you know what? I don't care. Space is cool. Fries are cool. It's all cool. Guys, look, it's the ship for Mission Space. That is so cool. Oh my goodness, look at this chocolate cheesecake. Goodness sake, that looks amazing. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. Man, space food? Space food is great. Let's go look at my Dad. epic Space 220 souvenir cup. Woo! No, I don't want to go back to Earth with politics and Twitter. Please, no. Okay, that was quite sad and unfortunate. So to cheer us up, me and Payton, we're gonna go to um, Animal Kingdom and ride Flight of Passage. And this is gonna be the last time, oh, hi, Test Track, hello. This is gonna be the last time we visit Animal Kingdom. So, yeah, cool, cool. See you then. Wow, yeah. Yeah, I think I can definitely say I like this more than Galaxy's Edge. Sorry, Star Wars fans, but this is awesome. Also, I'm not a fan of either of the IPs, so I have no bias. Look at this amazing laboratory. And, hey, yo, they got the Dave & Buster's power card. Let's go. You know something wrong here? Yeah, I know you see it. Whoa, this place looks cool. I mean, I've already seen it, but I haven't filmed it yet, so... Looks cool. See you after the ride. Oh, he was so good, but I'm so sad it's over. But at least now, we get a good look at the Tree of Life. 
and we have to say goodbye to the Animal Kingdom Park. Sad. So, yeah, see you at the Tree of Life. Oh my goodness, that door looks so pretty at night. Look at that, the Tree of Life is vibing over there. That's cool. Oh my gosh, this place is so desolate, like seriously. See you back at the hotel. Why is it vertical? Me and Peter are riding our last Skyliner ride together. And it's yellow again. Why is it always yellow? I bet you can watch the previous clips while we're in the Skyliner. And it's always yellow. Why is this a curse we have? Okay, so we just made it back to the hotel. And now we're going to bed. But first I have to pack, which sucks. Um, but... Yeah, um, we're gonna go to sleep in this hotel for the last time. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, I'm really tired, so see you tomorrow. Goodbye, hotel room. <sighs> that makes me sad. Good morning, everybody, and today is the last day of Disney, which makes me really sad because, I mean, I love it here. <laughs> I don't want to leave, but knowing our family, we'll probably be back because we are huge Disney Park fans. Um, but anyways, today we're going to be going to Epcot. Like, I'm going to go solo mission to Epcot, and then we're all going to go to Magic Kingdom and have a finale there. Um, yeah. I had to wake up at 7 in the morning, which, yeah, it doesn't sound that early until you realize I'm normally in CST time, so in Eastern time, that's 6 in the morning, so, um, yeah, I don't really know what to say, so now we're going to have to say goodbye to our hotel room. <laughs> it's so sad. Oh, man, I'm going to miss this lounge. Love this place. I looked back through my footage and I guess I didn't show this to you, but this is like a flip book. Like here, you pull this, right? You twist it. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but just doing the page again. It's flipping through an animation, but it won't go into focus. There we go. I just thought that's pretty cool. And of course, the thing I'm gonna miss the most is the amazing lobby. Man, I'm gonna miss this place. Oh, who am I kidding? That's not what I'm gonna miss the most. What I'm gonna miss the most is this boardwalk. Like, seriously, I walk through this place every single day and I loved it more every time. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is just incredible. That's the stand I'd always get fries at. That's the stand where you could always get your pretzel. Boardwalk Bakery, that's where we would always refill our drinks, right in the the bakery fountain. And I mean, yeah, those are the three key locations we went to. Then we basically got pizza every single night. Even though I don't like pizza. I mean, just overall, this place, man. This place. I'm really gonna miss it. Yeah, I'm gonna miss it here, but I guess part of the greatness about vacations is that they don't last forever. So when they are lasting, it is very special and it lives within you. Um, yeah, that's pretty, that definitely stuck. Um, but I guess now we're gonna go to Epcot, ride all my favorite rides again. And since I say again, that means I'm probably not gonna film most of them. But you know, it's solo, solo mission with Tristan for a few hours. You never know what can happen. Uh, I think my first destination is Ratatouille since we got early park hours. So, yeah. Man, scanning Epcot's magic bed entrance for the last time. Oh man, it's so sad. But hey, the day isn't over yet. We still have a couple hours of Epcot ahead of us. Let's see what we can do here. The entrance I got into from, or whatever, early, we entered in through right there. And guess what's right next to it? Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but it's Ratatouille. 
And since it's right here, it might like be like a walk-on because it's like, even when, shut up. Even though we have early entry, it's like, we're right next to it. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. It's pretty nice. This is hype. See you after the ride. That was cool and all, but can I make this shot? Heck yeah, I can. Let's go. Day one, I saw this cupcake in the boardwalk bakery, and I said I like I really wanted it. So what better day to get it than well the last one? Mmm! Oh my goodness, this is actually really good. That 50th anniversary cupcake was actually really good, so I'm glad I got it. Um, now I think I'm either gonna hop on to Soren, Space Earth, or my favorite ride. Test track, so uh, I'll show you uh, wherever I'm going next, I guess. We're riding Soren, baby. Seat, seat belt, carry on out, safety strap, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times. Anything else? Yeah, have a nice one. Patrick, I'm gonna miss you. Oh. I'll see you after the ride, guys. This is so sad. Man, it's so good every time. I think this is one of the most charming rides of all of Disney World. Not my favorite, but definitely one of the most charming. It just feels so at home. It feels so nostalgic. It just feels so Disney. And there was like a family beside me. It must have been their first time because like they were laughing. They were like surprised. They were like in awe. And that just made, that just reminded me of, you know, the whole reason we're here. To have fun, be happy, and enjoy the people you have. Now, after that extremely, um, I guess, moral lesson, um, now we're gonna go somewhere that I promised you we would go to. You'll, you probably know what it is. We're in the Imagination Institute, where the image works. This is gonna be fun. Bruh, moment everything is closed for some reason, bruh. Well, at least we're here. It was few fun gadgets but I don't see them necessary to film. There used to be a thing where you could build your own figment but you can't do that anymore. So brr moment. So sorry to disappoint. Um but yeah. I think we're gonna go ride Spaceship Earth now so I guess I'll say that that ride was really good. Like I wrote it again and like gosh it's so charming. I just Dang it, I swear, this park, it's so charming. And I love it. It's just like, that whole ride is so nice. The song is catchy. The execution is wonderful. And I feel like more people need to talk about this ride specifically. Uh, but yeah. Spaceship Earth is currently 30 minutes, and Test Track is currently closed. But I'm going to see if I can wait, it, wait Test Track out. Because I can still hear it running. So... Well, I'll just, we'll just see what happens next. I don't really know. Today's the day where I have to grab my souvenir. So there's no better place to look than the creation shop from Epcot. Let's take a good look, see what I can find. All right, this place looks cool. I love this entire 50th anniversary section. Everything looks so amazing and it's all so blue. Yo, that ain't no Tesseract, that's my cube. You stole my IP. Yo, let's go. I got the funny gauntlet, and I'm gonna do the, the funny snap. And I even uh, that counts. I think, bro, how much is this? 40, 40 bucks. You're paying 40 bucks for plastic rocks. Gosh, that's worse than NFTs. God. Okay, that was kind of fun. Now I think I'm gonna go ride Spaceship Earth. Which normally I wouldn't since it's like an insanely long wait. But like test track is closed for like the morning. So what else am I supposed to do? So, um, yeah. See you on then. All right, here we are. Um, I guess you can't really film the ride because it's dark. So see you afterwards. Hey, yo, I love my chest. Hey, it's me, and my chest, yes, look at them, they're vibing. That was 
was really dumb and funny. Um, but now every line weight is like extremely long, so I have no clue what we're gonna do. I think I might just walk around and enjoy Epcot. So, yeah. All right, so I just went to the Connections Cafe, got some water and some fries. Now, um, I really don't know. I guess I'll just wait for Test Track to reopen or for us to, I don't know, just trying to think of what to do. Just explore around Epcot. And um, we have this breakfast thing going on at like 12 o'clock. So I guess I'm gonna go to that. But I mean, we're really flexible today, so. <laughs> Although I will say, those fries, Never disappoint. I will miss them. Hey, yo, I just heard test track. Hold on, is it open again? My goodness, this line. Thank goodness I'm alone. I'll go and stick around it. I'm gonna stick around because I think they're testing the ride, so they might reopen soon. So I'm gonna go check out the shop and build a car. Let's do this. I don't know why, I just find it very funny that going to a shop and building cars is exciting. I mean, it is actually really fun. I just don't know. <laughs> I'm weird. Bruh, almost all of this shop is just not even test track merch. This is all cars, which that IP doesn't even appear in the ride besides one small reference. And over here is Chevrolet, which makes a little more sense, but like still not really test track merch. All you get is this tiny little shop right here. And look, that's not even, that's not even, that's Big Thunder Mountain. Bruh, this is kind of weird. Goodness, this land is, it's desolate because the ride is closed. No one has a reason to be in here. Aha, I got the design station to myself. Woo! I will show you the results. All right, so I made a smooth car. I've made a chunker, but I've not made a small boy yet. So I made a small boy and it's mostly an efficiency and responsiveness build, even though it's, these stats are kind of crap. It's more so just for fun to make a cool looking car. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go take some photos. All right, let's see. Uh, here we go, set up. All right, let's see this magma. <gasps> Spaceship Earth, yeah. Alien Crunch, <gasps> Storm, <gasps> Biometal. What, what, what? Spaceship Earth, obviously. Uh, what? Yo, yo aliens? Uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna just go away the meteor escape. Sure. Oh, but you're not allowed to see that. Bruh. Okay, let's do this. Here we go. All right, let's take some photos. Ooh, what's going on in this photo finish area? Hold on, let's check this out. Yes, let's set up the photo. Mm. Let's do... What fits my bath car? Let's do village. Then this. Oh yes, my PNG. Yes. All right. Uh, see you in a moment. Okay, let's do this. All right. Hey, yo, my car. It's on the stage. All right, let's take these photos. Absolutely beautiful. No clue what I'm gonna do next. <laughs> we will just see. Alright, so that breakfast thing is in 20 minutes. I kind of lost track of time, so I'm going to rush down World Showcase to the um, Skyliner so I can get to the Riviera Resort. And I'm going to pray I make it in time. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> I guess now i got to say goodbye to Epcot, so here goes. So, Epcot, here is my speech um, and a loving goodbye to you. Um, you are... By far my favorite park in all Disney World. And I feel like every single attraction you have is either full of personality or just innovative or in any way, every single attraction is a very enjoyable experience. Even Frozen Ever After, my least favorite ride in this park. So, I mean, yeah, that's pretty nice. 
I especially love this part because the rides are moderate. They're not too intense and not too calm. Or some of them aren't too calm. Some of them are, but that's why we like them. For example, Imagination and Living with the Land are both loving, like, just super full of charm rides that really aren't that intense at all. <laughs> um, and then there's rides like Soren and Test Track, which Test Track is my favorite ride in all of Disney World. And it has been for many, many years. So, like, Epcot, seriously, I love you. You're the best. The um, one th the thing I love most about this park is that it has a message. Not many other parks have a message, but this one does. It has a message, a theme about uniting the world, building on to our tomorrow, building our future, thinking about imagination, using it to create great and wonderful things. It's beautiful. Epcot, even when I'm not there, I'm going to always think about you. I will always try to recreate you. I will always try to do whatever I can to mimic the magic that you have brought into many lives. Um, and I appreciate not just the future world section or the world celebration section. I also appreciate the world showcase. And even though you're fully under construction and all that, I still believe that one day Epcot... Well, actually, not one day. The day has already came. The Epcot has reached its goal. But it's not done yet. And it will never be done. Disney World will never be done. And that's the magic of it. Um, so, yeah, even though you're under construction, Epcot, I will look forward to the time I get to come back and see you in your full glory. Thank you so much. Jeez, that was a very long and over-the-top speech. And I probably put some like stock drone shots all over, all over it because it's kind of boring to watch my face for two and a half minutes, especially since I'm terrible at holding a camera. But yeah, that was pretty nice. And yeah, now I'm gonna go and walk down World Showcase, right at Skyliner over Riviera. Then we'll go to Magic Kingdom and say goodbye to Disney World. I'm happy we came here. This has really changed me. And that makes me happy. So, yeah. See you um, when we get on the Skyliner, I guess. All right, so I'm in the Skyliner, and would you look at that? The one time I'm not with Peyton, it's a different color. This one is blue. Yeah, there you go. Now you can tell. Yeah, it's blue. What the heck are they on? Oh, man. Oh, God. I'm going to miss you so much. How am I going to live without you? Oh my goodness. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Shut up! I'm having a moment! Oh, I'm gonna miss Epcot. I'm sad. What? I. Oh. Oh god, that is cursed. Um. That's the piece to the immersion. Dang. Oh. Oh god, that's right, Tui. There's our hotel. I'm gonna miss that as well. God, can we just, like, stay here another week? Oh man, I gotta go back, otherwise it will be harder. So, I just won't go, I just won't get on the plane. Dang bro, this is so sad. Well, let's enjoy the rest of the day we have. And also there's another trip in July, look forward to that. So, it's not all bad, it's just sad. Can I just give a moment to praise the Skyliner? It's like it's like a ride on its own, and it gets you to places faster than any other transportation s system or whatever. It's faster than the monorail, and it's definitely faster than the bus. So I just want to honor that real quick. So that's this is awesome. The Skyliner is awesome. I just wanted to highlight the fact that well, the fact that it's awesome. <laughs> For once, I'm actually getting out of this thing. Wow, that's crazy. Because I normally sit on to go to Caribbean Beach, or I sit on to go to Epcot. But I'm going to neither. I'm going here for this breakfast thingy. Yay. All right, this is Disney's Riviera Resort. Looking kind of nice, not going to lie. It looks like an average Hilton hotel. I'm sorry. I mean, like, I guess this is because I'm coming from the boardwalk, but like, I don't know. I mean, oh wait, there's a lot more to it. Oh, yeah. and then, oh, I was wrong. Topolino's Terrace, that's where we're eating. Whoa, okay. I 
I take back what I said. This is actually kind of cool. Look at this. Oh, wow. Okay, I take that back. This is cool. Oh, wow. The Slavi do be looking pretty nice. Nice. This is nice. And look, over there, there's the boardwalk. And, um, oh, yeah, and there's Mickey characters. Don't forget to mention that. Hey, right yo, here. look, Donald's here, oh, and no, he wants to right. see Austin. Where is Austin? Yeah. Austin. Yeah. Where is Austin? Oh, he's over there. Uh oh. Thank you. He's shy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, okay. he's signed it. Take a picture. We're taking a picture. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Goodness sake. Look at that. all this food. <laughs> all this food that I don't even <laughs> like. <laughs> wow, well, look. This is the Riviera Resort from above. Oh, look. That's, there's a giant chess board down there. And a pool. And it's just really cool. Really cool hotel. But not better than the boardwalk. Okay, so now we're in Magic Kingdom and we're gonna go ride a few last iconic rides before we leave. It's sad, but it will be fun. Is it raining? Well, I was about to say we're gonna go ride Big Thunder Mountain, but now it's raining, so. Yay. Uh, well, I guess we'll see what we do next, I guess. Bro, a moment. Okay, so by some insane miracle, Big Thunder Mountain is not close. And now, and it's not 40 minutes either. It's like 10. So now we're gonna ride it. Uh, yeah, it's very loud in here. Uh, see you after the ride. That was actually kind of fun, but also kind of terrifying because I was in the back seat. But you know what? I powered through because I'm a gamer. <laughs> now I have no clue what we're gonna do next. We'll just see. So, yeet. Okay, it's been a good hour. I'm sorry for not filming. My phone died. So, um, yeah, now I'm charging it, as you can see, and, yeah, so, here's the update, here's basically what happened. Rain, everywhere, all rides are closed. Can't ride Test Track, can't ride Splash, can't ride Big Thunder. Um, so we went on Pirates, took like 30 minutes, we got on, rode it, now we're in shops, and I bought a blanket. I will show you the blanket, trust me. So, um, yeah, I have no clue what we're gonna do now, because rain but i guess we'll see wow there's a record breaking amount of closed rides right now which sucks because now we're just sitting here waiting until we have to leave very unfortunate way to end the trip but uh what can you do i mean like we've ridden so many rides i'm satisfied it's like yeah it's fine but it is a bit disappointing i will say we're at a funny restaurant. Now you may be wondering, Tristan, why are we at a Pinocchio restaurant of all places? Well, I'll tell you. The seats are connected to Slow World. How cool is that? Exhibit A, you can wave at the people. I'm waving. Yes, hello. <laughs> this is amazing. Peak of Disney World restaurant experiences. Exhibit B, their fries. <laughs> you thought I was gonna talk about the pizza. Exhibit C, it actually looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. Overall, that was a pretty awesome experience, but it's also it was also our last one. Yeah, yeah, now we're leaving for good, and that makes me really sad. But, I mean, it is about time. It's, we've had our fun, we've ridden all the rides pretty much that we wanted to ride. Now it's our time to go. But we will return sooner or later. But I'm afraid this trip has concluded. Off to the boardwalk to get our bags. Yay. Goodbye, Disney World. Goodbye, 50th Anniversary Castle. Goodbye, Tomorrowland with the funny Imagine Order Collider. I am cringe, I know. Goodbye, Pirates, which was the last ride I rode in every other ride in Adventureland, Fantasyland, Frontierland, Tomorrowland, all the rides. And of course, goodbye Main Street. I loved you so little back then. 
But now, I'm glad I got to know you. You and me, let's hang out in the future. You know, in the future when I'm back. Oh, you said I hope I'm back. Will, will the ghosts follow me home and take my soul? Who knows? But yeah. Goodbye, Disney World. You were great this year. And I love you. Oh, frick, I forgot to my Barnstormer! Oh, man, I remember being in this lobby day one, freaking out that this was actually happening. And then, now it's already over. Uh, I mean, like, I sound very sad, which I am, but, like, I'm sad because I had very, like, so much fun. Being with my family, hanging out, and always being happy. It's, it was great. And this trip taught me a lot, so... I'm glad we did it. And it's not the last one. It's still another vacation this summer and all of summer ahead. Because I'm filming this, like this whole trip's been June 1st through June 8th. So, like, yeah, it's right at the start of summer. So it's just, it's a shame. It's a shame. That's, I mean, that's the only way I can describe it. Because I love this place so much. I want to keep being here forever. But that's not possible, unfortunately. So, yeah. Um, this is not the end of the video. I'm still gonna have like the flight back and stuff because why not? But like, this is the end of the Disney World trip. Um, but yeah, anyways, now we're gonna go hop in an Uber, go to the airport, and fly home. Honestly, there are a few things about home I, I miss, like being able to sleep by myself, being able to sleep in, not have to get up every morning to go to the parks. Not always be stressed about where to go. Not having feel your feet in pain every day. You know, it's actually nice. That's nice. So, and we're very fortunate to have a lot of good stuff at home that helps us cope. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So let's just, let's recap real quick about the special moments. First, I'll talk about Typhoon Lagoon, which was a blast. But Typhoon Lagoon was amazing. Um, and I think that's the best part of the video because I managed to get the GoPro out and film so many cool things. And I can't wait to edit it. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, the second thing I wanna talk about is the Collision Live event and season three of Fortnite. Yeah, I know it's not, it's not like Disney, but like that was really fun to film. And even though the audio was kind of garbage, I still think that was very fun and memorable experience. And I really enjoyed it. Um, and finally, I want to talk about Space 220. And um, yeah, Space 220 was legendary. And that was one of the greatest restaurant I've been to in my life. Like, honestly, the food, I mean, fries are amazing. And I got a souvenir cup because I loved it so much. And well, yeah. So those are the three most memorable things I remembered. I guarantee in the Uber drive, I'm gonna remember something better to talk about than Fortnite Collision, but in the end, what does it matter? That's, that's it. Um, yeah, see you at the airport. Here we are, the airport. Yay! Not gonna lie, this is the most sad I've ever been to for the end of a vacation. It's like it was too good. That, like, it needs to be worse next time. Oh, God, I've never felt this sad, oh my goodness. Okay, seriously, what is the point of spending all this extra money on an animated screen? Like, come on, seriously, what is the point? Bruh, seriously, how many screen guards? Why would you waste all this money on pointless screens? Okay, so we only have 30 minutes until our flight closes, so I unfortunately will not be able to film anything else at the airport uh, because we're going to be running the entire time, so... Hopefully the next shot isn't me saying, guys, we missed the flight. Hopefully it's me saying, okay guys, we're on the flight and we're gonna look at some chairs or something, I don't know. Hopefully it's just not the first one. I didn't just, I just takes myself, didn't I? Well, hopefully not. Okay, under some insane miracle, we made it. I don't, I don't, I do not know how this happened. And we're in the tube, I cannot not film the tube absolutely not 
Um, and me and Payne are sitting next to each other. Let's go. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'll see you on the plane. Yee. <laughs> Here's our epic plane seat. We're flying American this time, and yet it feels no difference. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess I'll see you after the flight. I mean, I have no plans right now. I just, I'm just kind of in Operation Survival right now. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. We're flying in the It's probably the longest flight ever. Hey, yo. It's the tube, but this time in the very sad Texas. Bro, <sighs> moment. We're back. Sad face. Hey, at least to cheer me up, we got the OG. McDaniels fries. <laughs> it's so weird eating fries that cost a dollar after going to Disney where they all cost six bucks. And they're still amazing. Alright, welcome to my bedroom. It has a bed. Um, and this is my blanket, my souvenir. Look, you can see here. Throw covered shirt. Yeah, no, it's a blanket. This is the design of it, but um, we're gonna unbox it. <laughs> Unwrap it, I guess. So, see you in a moment. All right, um, now that this is open. Oh, it's soft. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, what? Die. Get out of the way. Okay, I wanna lay this thing out flat um, real quick for you guys. Oh, uh, man. I already have um, two over there. The blue one is 60th anniversary for Disneyland. And the red one is for just Epcot. Um, so, it's nice to have um, a 50th anniversary one that's white. It's a different color. That's cool. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. This is actually really big. I actually love it. So... One thing I love about this, it actually references Test Track. None of the merch, not even Epcot merchandise, references Test Track. So that makes me happy that it did. Uh, we also got Small World, Tron. Tron isn't even in the parks yet. Oh, wait, no, Small World's right here. So what's this? Oh, I think that's part of, like, the American section of the World Showcase. That's the castle obviously um oh here we go this is um galaxy's edge noise uh that's tower of terror that's the toy story land or the pixar ball this is the tree of life or animal kingdom what at least that hold on i gotta walk over here um what is this okay just buildings i don't know that's um <coughs> That's um, Guardians of the Galaxy's Cosmic Rewind. That's Finding Nemo. Not 100% sure what that is. That's Spaceship Earth. That's Mexico. Wow, that's, this is awesome. I love all the references. and It's so soft and floofy. And it's big, too. Hold on, let me show you my other one. Yeah, look, over here. This one. This one's kind of floofy. This is also pretty floofy. But they're not they're nowhere near as big as this. It's like, this covers my entire bed, and this is a queen-size bed. So, that's pretty cool. I'm definitely going to sleep with it tonight. You know, to help cope and all that. But yeah, look at that. that that's awesome. Alright, so I guess this concludes the Disney World 2022 vlog. Oh my god, this trip was amazing. And I think that's why the ending was so sad. Because the trip was so good that I... So genuinely sad to go back. Like normally, I'm just like, oh, that's a shame. But this time, like, oh my gosh, I almost cried. Um, but um, in the end, it's like that. That's kind of the magic of vacations. You're not there forever, but when you do go there, it's special and it's fun. But it also helps you recognize that everyday things in life are still nice. Um, like having a pool in your backyard, for example. Like that's fortunate thing like I bet you can look around in your life think about something fortunate you have um but anyways <laughs> I don't know how I fit such a powerful message into this video but um Disney World man that's how it does I'm gonna especially um we're definitely gonna go back because <laughs> for us uh, this is gonna sound really spoiled but 
three years is a very long time for us without Disney, since we are huge Disney Park fans. Um, because normally we would go every other year. Like, this schedule has been, every year we've gone to Disney World is 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2019, and then 2020, COVID, kind of delayed everything. Then 2021, we we're going to do our off year of Disney, because 2021 just kind of pushed everything forward. And now 2022 came, and we're back in Disney. So, expect us to come back in 2024, unless we're feeling impatient. We can just come back in 2023. Either way, uh, my the point I'm trying to get to is, when we come back, the thing I'm going to look forward to seeing most is definitely Epcot. Because right now, Epcot is really under construction. It's still cool to look at, but it's it's under construction. Like, a lot of construction. Um... Which is a bit of a shame, but I've heard amazing things about what they're building, and oh my gosh, believe me when I say I am hyped for brand new Epcot. It's going to be amazing by far. It's already by far my favorite part, but it's going to be even better. How did they do this? <laughs> uh, but yeah, can't wait for that. Um, that's definitely my number one most hyped thing. Uh, besides that, I don't really know. Not really... I just kind of go with the flow, like Galaxy's Edge. That was cool and all, but I'm not really a Star Wars fan, which is okay. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's that. Um, I guess my sister just walked in. I guess um, this is it. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Um, and if it was incredibly boring, I'm sorry. But I tried to go the different style because... I felt riding the rides was kind of like, you know, boring and like there was no point to it. But overall, boring or not, this vlog was definitely a journey for me and very important in my <laughs> my character development of life. So no matter what, this trip will always be special to me. So I appreciate you for watching um, and well, see you later.